think there's often a temptation, in fact, with these situations to put things in boxes. You know, we like to say there's a box with luck and there's a box with skill. Um, and that's really kind of tempting, but I don't think it's a realistic um, notion necessarily. Um, I think particularly you know, through the history of how people have tackled games like roulette and with lotteries, it's much more of a spectrum. And actually, games that we might think are the archetype of luck, things like roulette, actually, if you have a skillful approach, you can tame that chance and you can convert it into some element of a game of skill. And even games that we might think are incredibly uh, or almost solely the world of skill, games like chess, can have um, surprising results of chance. In the 90s, um, famously, IBM's Deep Blue Chess Computer played Gary Kasparov. Um, and during the match, uh, in one of the early games, there was a situation where Deep Blue made a move that was so unexpected and almost kind of so subtle that it threw Kasparov a bit. And it, it all accounts con convinced him that he was playing something that was just simply beyond what he was you know, ever seen before. Just something completely beyond his capability. Um, it turned out, actually, that what happened there is Deep Blue had run into a situation where it couldn't identify the best move. And in that situation, it had been programmed to pick randomly. But this, this set of games that is one of the landmarks in artificial intelligence over humans in a game that is thought to be purely skill was actually uh, really kind of shaped by this chance event.